Hey everyone, in this latest uh, update for the AR4 robot, I've added the ability for the robot to communicate with PLCs or logic controllers. This makes it possible for the robot to uh, receive signals from various equipment. Um, it could read from, you know, a 24 volt device or anything you need the robot to talk to. This, uh, you know, would typically be used for, you know, the PLC to send a signal to tell the robot when it's ready to pick a part or something like that. Um, the robot can also use the PLC to control external devices. It could be used to, you know, control a solenoid valve or a clamp or something like that. You know, anything you need the robot to interface with. And then the uh, robot can use these signals from the PLC to navigate to different parts of the program or it can wait for a, a ready signal from the PLC. And the robot can also write to numerous different addresses in the PLC. I'll go over a few more details on that in a minute. If you haven't seen the AR4 robot before, this is a free design robot. The uh, manual software print files are all free to download and anybody can make this robot. Um, this robot has been designed to be the lowest cost robot out there. Uh, as many components as possible are off the shelf. The control processor is an Arduino based TNC 4.1 board and all the gear motors and drives are off the shelf variants direct from Stepper Online. All the uh, non-structural components are 3D printed, so this saves a lot of cost on the robot printing all these parts yourself. And then all the structural components have been designed to be as simple as possible. Um, I've designed them to be made out of as many pieces from plate material as I could and with as few machining operations as I could. All of these things make this the lowest cost robot out there. I've added a new chapter to the build manual for the PLC Modbus option. This chapter has a bill of materials including the new uh, base enclosure lid and the RS-485 adapters and the other components. Um, it goes through all the instructions on installing and wiring the board and then connecting this up to the uh, TNC 4.1 board. The latest software version for the robot is version 5.1. If we go to the input outputs tab, you can see we still have the same functionality for the 5 volt I.O. board. This would be for an Arduino Nano or an Arduino Mega or really any board you wanted to use. Um, so you can control, you can read inputs and outputs from that 5 volt device as well as control servos. We have the auxiliary COM functionality where we can read a uh, device that communicates on a COM port. This might be something like a barcode scanner. And then I've added this whole section for reading from a PLC um, for a Modbus device. So um, just to show you that, I'll put in uh, the device address that I'm working with right now is device number 7. And so if I want to read the first input, that's Modbus address 2048. So I could read that input, for example, and you can see it's currently at zero. And if we look at the software, we're talking to a DirectLogic DL06, and you can see that the first input is off. And then if I toggle the switch that I have connected to that input and turn that on, then we can go back to the software and um, read that input. And you can see it changes to a one, so it's reading that value. And then, for example, you know, reading holding registers, if I wanted to read um, the holding register at location, uh, 1088 and then um, put in that we want to read one register and read that holding register you can see its value is zero if we go to the software the octal address for that same uh, 1088 is 2100 and you can see it's reading zero so if I was to change that to say 123 and write that into that holding register we can go back to the software read in that holding register and you can see it reads that in there and you can see we can also read in coil addresses, we can read in input registers, or we can write to a coil or write to a register. So now if I wanted to uh, use a PLC signal in a program to have the robot be able to uh, react or control something in the PLC, um, you can see here we have um, command lines for putting in statements, for if statements, for wait statements, or for setting, uh, for setting device addresses. So um, for example, if I wanted to uh, you know, create an if statement, you know, I can do that based on a 5 volt input or a, a register, counting register value in the software or a comm device, but now we have also, we have um, these different uh, Modbus choices here, so I could choose input, Modbus input, and then choose address, again we'll do 2048 for input 1, and we'll say when that value is equal to 1 we want to do something, so we can either call the program, jump to a spot in the program, or stop the program. So we'll leave that at call program and we'll just call the program home. So um, I'm going to load a program here. I'm going to load test. And um, you can see I've already put that line of code in here already. So I could come in here and hit play. And the uh, cursor will just keep running through this program. And when I flip that button for, the, uh, for that input, you can see I've turned it on. 
and now it jumps to the home program and now the robot is running home based on that input. So you can also do uh, wait times. You can wait for an input signal. So you can wait for a coil or an input to be equal to a certain value and then have a timeout after a certain amount of time. Or you can set you know, your 5 volt output on your Arduino board or you can set a coil or a register value equal to whatever you need it to be and have the robot you know, set those anywhere in the program. I'll put a link in the description where you can find all of the software and the download files and the manual. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me on the contact page. And thanks for watching.